Ethan, I, I was just on the phone. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Whitney. I, I thought I heard Teresa. I guess I'm just so desperate to talk to her to tell her how much I love her. You know, I guess I, I just wanted to see her so bad that I, I just imagined that I heard her. Hey, well, come on, man. Why don't we uh, go take that walk, all right? Yeah. Hey, Whitney, I'm going to go back to my room and get my wallet, and then we'll uh, swing back by here and pick you up, okay? Okay, I'll be ready. All right. was close. I still think you should have just talked to the man. I will, Whitney, after I make things right. And remember, you promise not to let anyone know that you've seen me. I won't. Thanks. I'm gonna go out the back way. Better put this wedding dress somewhere where nobody's gonna find it. That's Teresa's dress. She was here? Yes, this is all your fault, Ivy. You have no one to blame but yourself. You have no one to turn to. Ethan's gone. A few hours, I'll be rid of you. Even your true love, Sam Bennett, is reconciled with little mousy grace. You've lost everything, even your heart's desire for future with Ethan's father. Oh, what can I say? All's well that ends well. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Crane. Your car is ready to take you to the airport. Mm. And I'm told the Crane jet is fueled and waiting your arrival. Ah, merci. When I come back from Bermuda, I want you and the misery you've caused me low these many years out of this mansion. For good. I'm sorry. David passed the lie detector test with flying colors just like he did the psychiatric exam. Oh my god. Then everything you said is true. Not necessarily. <laughs> what? A lie detector test monitors fluctuations in heart rate, breathing rates, physical changes <laughs> that come from emotions. Some people are able to control their emotions so well they can fool a lie detector. Isn't that right, Eve? Yes. But it's rare. So he could be my husband. <laughs> no. He can't. <laughs> You're my wife. Sam. <laughs> I know that this is not what you want to hear, but the man has passed not only one, but two tests that speak to the heart of his credibility. Now, you have to admit it's making it harder and harder to doubt him. Look, I don't give a damn how many tests he cheats his way through. I don't believe a word he says. Right? The story about the boat being sunk, right? losing his personal papers, his marriage license, how convenient. It's marriage license. That's it. I know how we can prove that he's lying. Those warlocks hold one hell of a grudge to me. I as much as set the foot on that island. I'm finished. And you will be too, because you're my creation. Just because the boat can the world look out doesn't mean to me and Tabby have to go there. What are you babbling about? Well... When the boat gets to Warlock Island, we'll just stay on the boat and not go ashore. And then head back to Harley. Problem solved? Oh, Timmy, you're a genius. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, you would have, Tabby, if you weren't so afraid of the Warlock Island. That's right. Wait till the boat docks. When the kids go ashore, we'll go to the bridge, tell the captain we got on the wrong boat, and we're going to ride back to Harley. Don't worry about her when we get home. Just be glad that I don't 
with a request. Huh? We've been exploring your vessel, sir, and we'd like permission to go below deck and see the engine room. Mm. Aye, aye, Captain, sir. I love the sea. Fresh salt air. Sound of the waves. Fishing to die for. <laughs> Catch the day. <laughs> <laughs> 